What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Finally, after a long wait, Samsung has started rolling out the One UI Watch 5.0 based on Wear OS 4 for the Galaxy Watch 4 series. And uh, this update had arrived on the Galaxy Watch 5 series a couple of weeks ago. And I've already posted a video in which I have discussed in detail about uh, the all new features that have arrived with the all new One UI 5.0. So if you missed that video, you can go ahead and check it out. In this video, I will briefly tell you about this all new update. As you can see, the change log is huge we have got all the new features that we had received on the Galaxy Watch 5 series as well as the Galaxy Watch 6 series. The update size is about 1700 MB which is pretty huge and you can see the changelog talks about all the new features. Now with this update we have received Samsung Pay for the first time on Galaxy Watch 4 series. Uh, I am posting another video about Samsung Pay, how it works, how to activate it and I'll also post a demo on how to use it in the store. Uh, so stay tuned for that video probably today or tomorrow I will be posting that video. That will give you a clear idea about how to activate Samsung Pay on your Galaxy Watch and how to use it in the store. You can see when I press and hold on the watch face uh, and try to change the watch face or add the watch faces here, uh, we have got this vertical display now. Uh, it's very easy to pick the watch faces in this display. This applies to the widgets as well. As you can see when I tap on add widgets, it is appearing in a vertical order. I can use the rotating bezel or the touch bezel on the watch to scroll through these uh, widgets and add them on the screen. Now we have got better device care and battery management options. As you can see, we have got battery, storage and memory separately in this uh, particular settings. We can easily uh, clear the memory off from the watch by tapping on memory option here and uh, we can also check the storage. So it's very easy to check the health of the watch and make it work seamlessly. Then we have got these brand new tiles here. As you can see, we have got the uh, new timer tiles and we have got these battery tiles on which we can see the connected devices battery percentage then we have got this galaxy buds live tiles as well if you use a galaxy bud then this may be useful for you guys when it comes to timers we can set multiple timers at the same time up to i think about 15 to 20 timers we can set on the watch now which will be really useful if you are someone who use the timers more often now on the settings menu when you tap on uh, accessibility you'll be seeing some new features here. Tap on accessibility and tap on interaction and dexterity. Uh, we have got universal gestures feature, which is a brand new feature. Now we have got on One UI 5.0. You can use the watch without even touching the watch. So I've discussed this feature as well in detail on uh, the other video that I have made. I have left a link for that video in the description, which talks about all these features in detail. So you can go ahead and check the video. Don't miss that video. Another feature which is added is pressing the home key to activate the voice input while typing something on the keyboard as you can see here the keyboard is active i'm trying to type something here and uh, while typing i can press and hold on this home button to activate the voice input that is just perfect now we've got more call controls on the calling application now we can mute the sound we can adjust the volume and we can press the buttons on the keypad right from the phone application itself on the watch now the next feature we have got is creating folders on the app tray now we can press and hold on an application and drop it on another app to create a folder and this folder background color can also be customized you can see we have got this color option here we can tap on this to change the colors of the background this is how we customize the folders and create folders on one UI 5 watch we have also got a few more features like using camera in the flex mode switching the phones for the watch without wiping off the data or uh, factory resetting the watch some health and fitness improvements as well all these features are discussed in details on the video that I have posted some time back so like I mentioned I have left a link in the description if you're interested in knowing all the features in detail go ahead and check that out and let me know your thoughts about this all new update in the comment section below and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find it informational thanks for watching my name is salian signing off cheers bye bye